Hello, in this video we are going to solve this exponential problem without making use of a calculator. We have 9 to the power of 5 plus 9 to the power of 4 plus 9 to the power of 3 plus 9 to the power of 2 and plus 9 to the power of 1. What we are going to do for us is instead of this 9 to the power of 5, we can write it as 9 to the power of 4 plus 1 plus here we have 9 to the power of 4 plus Instead of this 9 to the power of 3, we can write it as 9 to the power of 2 plus 1. Plus here we have 9 to the power of 2 plus 9. Now the next thing is for us to apply this identity. If you have a to the power of n plus m, this equals a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So we apply this identity right here. We are going to have 9 to the power of 4 times 9 because 9 to the power of 1 is 9 we have plus 9 to the power of 4 plus we apply this identity right here again we have 9 to the power of 2 times 9 we have plus 9 to the power of 2 and we have plus 9 so what we are going to do next is here we have 9 to the power of 4 and here we have 9 to the power of 4 so we can factor that out we have 9 to the power of 4 into if we divide this by 9 to the power of 4 we are going to have 9 then we have plus if we divide this by 9 to the power of 4 we are going to have 1 we have plus then we go ahead we have 9 to the power of 2 here we have 9 to the power of 2 here we factor that out and we have this 9 to the power of 2 times 9 divided by 9 to the power of 2 we are going to have 9 then 9 to the power of 2 divided by 9 to the power of 2 we are going to have plus 1 then we have plus 9 again so what do we do at this point we can as well introduce square brackets here so the next thing we are going to do is we have 9 to the power of 4 here and we have 9 to the power of 2 here so we can take that out we have 9 to the power of 4 plus 9 to the power of 2 then here we have 9 plus 1 and we have 9 plus 1 so this will multiply 9 plus 1 and remember we have plus 9 So what do we do? We go ahead. Here, remember we have 9 to the power of 4. So instead of this 9 to the power of 4, we can have it as 9 to the power of 2, then into 9 to the power of 2. Because if you multiply 9 to the power of 2 times 9 to the power of 2, we are going to have 9 to the power of 4. Then we have plus. If you divide 9 to the power of 2 by 9 to the power of 2, you are going to have 1. Then we have here 9 plus 1. That is 10. And we have plus 9. So we go again. 9 to the power of 2 is simply 81. We have 9 to the power of 2 is 81 plus 1. We have this. That will multiply 10. And we have plus 9. We go again. This is 81. And we can rewrite this 81 as we can have 80 plus 1. And this is 81 plus 1. So if you have 81 plus 1, we can have... 81 plus 1 is 82, so we can have... 80 plus 2 then this is 10 we have 10 then we have plus 9 have you seen that the next thing is we can say let x equals 80 we are going to have x plus 1 here we have x plus 2 and we have times 10 then we have plus 9 so let's go ahead and multiply this out we have x times x x times 2 we have 1 times x and 1 times 2 
So x times x, we are going to have x squared. x times 2, we have 2x. 1 times x, we have x. So that will give us 3x. Then we have plus 1 times 2, we are going to have 2. Then this will simply multiply this 10. Then we have plus 9. At this point, we can get back recall that x equals 80. So let's fix it 80 here. We are going to have 80 power 2 plus 3 into 80 plus 2. Then we have everything here multiplying 10. Then we have plus 9. What is 80 power 2? Now let's start with 8 raised to the power of 2. 8 raised to the power of 2 is 64. Here you have 10. Then 10 raised to the power of 2 is 100. You have 0, 0. Plus 3 times 80. 3 times 8 is 24. Then you have 3 times 0 is 0. You have 240. You have plus 2. Then you have everything here multiplying 10. Then you have plus 9. So let's add this up. You simply have 6400, zero, zero. you have 240, zero. you have 2. If you add it up, you are going to have 0 plus 0 plus 2, you have 2. This is 4, this is 6, and this is 6, 6642. Six, so what we have inside this bracket is 6642. Six, so we have, let me write it here, 6642. Six, then remember there is more. 10 here that is multiplying everything here times 10 plus 9. So if you multiply this by 10, if you multiply 6642 by 10, you are going to have 66420. Then you have plus 9. Then if you add it here, you are going to have 66429. So this becomes the final answer. So you have seen that we have been able to evaluate this without making use of calculator. We have been able to evaluate 9 to the power of 5 plus 9 to the power of 4 plus 9 to the power of 3 plus 9 to the power of 2 and plus 9 to the power of 1 without making use of a calculator. And the answer is simply 66429. So that is it for the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also drop a comment if you have any. Share this video to your friends, please, and just keep on sharing. Thank you and goodbye.